Hey everyone, Craig Williams here, back again with another video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to give you a quick rundown um, of a way that you guys can use Skype uh, to do collabs like uh, in different parts of the town, different parts of your country, or you can do it with different people uh, around the world and stuff like that. Um, and it's all free. I know there's better solutions out there, but um, a lot of people don't really have the money to spend like $100, $200 on a plugin that's just going to help them do a collab with someone overseas and they might only do it once and not really like the uh, the idea of it. But this way, um, you can get a good feel for it. You can see if you like it. And then if you if it's something that you really dig, that you can do it and um, you could actually spend the money and, and get the, the better solution. But for this one, all you're going to need is uh, your DAW, uh, Skype, and... Soundflower, um, and then in the video, I'll just give you a little rundown on routing and stuff like that so you can get um, the sound. Uh, again, it's not the best solution. There is a little bit of latency when you uh, are talking, but overall, uh, I used it just, pre uh, just recently for over four hours, and it was really good. Um, so hopefully, you guys dig it. Hey everyone, so this is the session and uh, let me take you through the steps so you guys can take, so you guys can use uh, your screen and the audio through into Skype and then someone else can see and hear what you're doing and then help the, uh, the creative process and hopefully you guys can get some more work done faster and you're both going to be on the same, uh, the same page of what you're trying to achieve. Okay, so here's my logic session. It's just that boys noise tutorial from before. So there you go, something pretty simple. First up, you want to uh, what you want to do is come along and download download Soundflower, and all the links will be in the description, and also download Skype. Um, just go through the procedure. Uh, for install and it's nice and simple. Next up you'll want to come along and locations go down. You want to load up Skype and Soundflower as well. So we can minimize that. And here's my Skype here, but we don't need that up. And then Soundflower you'll see is by a little bit. It was already open before, but I just wanted to show you. Um, what to expect when you load it up because sometimes you might think hey I didn't get a screen like with Skype it's just this little icon on the top what you want to do is go along and go to uh, built-in output what you can do is also is just go to the setup and just make sure it's uh, everything's good to go obviously the my built-in output is what I've got and then my microphone and stuff like that. There's nothing too crazy there. Uh, when you start using sound cards and stuff like that, uh, routing can get a little bit more uh, complicated and stuff like that. So I just suggest um, searching through the forums and stuff like that to find out that information. I'm just doing the basic sort of stuff that I know a lot of you just have your laptop and headphones or whatever. So this is what I'm going to show you. Um, so we've got that and we've got it on two channel and we've got built in output. So it's taking um, everything that I want to send to that, and it will take it to that, and then it will that will be the uh, the output. Uh, next up, you go to Skype, and we want to go to preferences. Actually, we need to bring that over here. Before we do that, we've got. And let's open this. So as you can see there, as I talk. We're registering, um, talking and stuff like that, but it's, we're on built-in microphone. Now we don't want just the microphone, we want both the audio um, from the microphone and from Logic. So what we do is you come along and two channel. So as you can see there, the uh, it's not re registering anything. We come over to here go into preferences and we select audio from here you want to take the output of so this is the whole output of logic and you want to take it to the Soundflower 2 channel same as what we've got set up here 
Now it's going to try and change your input device to Soundflower 2 channel, but what you want to do is keep it as um, we want built, uh, yeah, built-in microphone. So we want to be able to utilize the microphone on the laptop to then um, send that out. So we can apply those changes. There we go. And if we play that, we should start registering uh, some sound up here. So as you can see there, it's registering there. But still don't have the, the voice going. So what you can do is just come along, go to one of these channels, just come along and select a mono and input one is the microphone. It should be just the got the one input there and come along and there, and you, there go. you go. So I've just turned it off input monitoring but um, you could see there, so if you just check up here, you can, you see, can that see that we're, we're registering uh, the sound. And as you can see, there is a, like a little bit of latency, but one thing that I was doing for the session was just taking sort of one headphone just off a little bit. So when you've, when got, you've it got it on, on you, you can, can like, like tune, tune out one, one or the or other. other. Um, um, if you have if you both have your headphones, headphones on, on, you sort, you sort, of, sort of can get, can get a little, little bit muddled with what's going on and stuff like that. that. So we'll just turn that off for now. And all in all, that's that's pretty much about it. Um, one thing to remember, if you want to show someone something and you solo it, you're not going to be able to hear. You have to bring up the solo there as well. So just there's like trade-offs, but at the end of the day, this is free. All the plugins, all the um, applications are free, and it's just really simple to use. Um, Again, obviously, it's not as good as being in the studio with someone, but uh, this day and age, things are getting better and better. I know there's programs that you can uh, utilize, but I just found this was good for what I wanted, and I had a couple of people ask me how I did it, and it, it worked. I used it for over four hours the other day, um, got a lot of work done, and it was really good. So hopefully you guys got something out of it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to head over to my Facebook page, give it a like, um, and also the SoundCloud and Twitter and stuff like that. And if you've got any tracks, feel free to send them along to the SoundCloud listening group. And until next time, see you later.